What an amazing place to start my next video about Rome. 20 vital things I really want you to know to make the trip of yours to Rome truly unforgettable. The best trip in your life. Let's dive in. Plus, the most important thing, you don't have my travel to Rome guide yet? No way, guys. I made it specially for you. Best pasta in Rome, best pizza in Rome, best places to stay, best places to visit. Like, everything is in one place. Next, and oh God, <laughs> comfortable shoes, guys. This is my second video I'm filming today, so it took me about seven hours to walk around Rome. So guys, before you even start parking your things to Rome, comfortable shoes fine when you're just landing at the airport i guess it's going to be roma fiumicino and to my advice guys still take uber or train to get from the airport to rome city center taking a train will be the most budget option for you the price will be about 15 euros but uh why uber not other taxis you will see a lot next to the airport if you are not italian if you don't speak italian Sometimes Italian taxi drivers, they have this little trend to make money on tourists. How it usually happens? Yes, they will take you to city center on a great price. But after that, when they see that you're American or any person who doesn't speak Italian, that's gonna start happening. Okay, so I cannot go to the street, it's pedestrian only, so you need to set off here. If you want to drive me through this, this is like paid street, blah, 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 it's additional 15 euros after that. Um, okay, to take your luggage out, to take you closer to your hotel, so all these micro, micro additional actions at the end will cost you more. When you're taking Uber, you will pay the exact price you saw on the app even before booking that taxi. Let's talk about do you really need to speak Italian when you're coming to Rome? Okay, Italy is not Scandinavia where everyone speaks English. Italy is a different kind, guys. So basically, I would recommend you uh, to watch this video where I put all basic phrases and common words. You better, you, you better just learn before you're coming to Italy. Because when you enter any place in Italy, restaurant, hotel, the shop, and if you just say a few words in Italian, like buongiorno, salve, grazie, all these little things, the service and the attitude towards you will change dramatically. Coffee and the magic of this drink in this country. The funny fact is that only in Rome there are about 6,000 coffee shops, coffee places. they called un bar here. And if you're coming from England, um, you will understand the, the trend. I can tell that uh, the same amount of pubs you have around the UK, the same amount of coffee places you will have in Italy. Every Roman, they have their top favorite Un bar, they go to every single morning and they're so sad when this bar is closing or when they change the owner or when they change the barista. They're really upset, they're taking it so personal. It's like it's a, it's a tragedy. Let's grab a coffee and talk about coffee etiquette in Italy. And if you want to follow traditional Italian coffee etiquette, First of all, you cannot order cappuccino after 11 a.m. Well, they will serve you this, of course. It's not a problem. It's not like they will burn your life or something. But still, Italians believe that uh, milk can affect badly your digesting system. And that's why they never consume any milky hot beverages after 11 a.m. after lunchtime. Also in Italy. Also in Italy crazy people <laughs> including Rome there are more than 10 types of coffee what I would advise you to do just when you come in here for a week just try a different type of coffee every single day and in this case you'll be having different type of Italian coffee every day of your stay next thing when you're in Italy don't expect or don't ask your coffee to be in this takeaway cup plastic cup like we all know in Starbucks Italians would never have their coffee delicious coffee in a plastic cup they will stay in the bar and they will enjoy their coffee in a ceramic cup this is the only way you can enjoy your coffee in Italy Italian way the thing is 
the price of uh, standing coffee, the, when you have your coffee standing at the bar and the price if you take a table will be different because when you take your coffee to the table it will also include, include service charge and the difference might be up to one euro just to let you know if it's your first trip to Italy, if your first trip to Rome, average price of coffee here is two euros. Sometimes it's a little bit lower, sometimes it's a little bit more, but if you're budgeting your first trip to Rome, expect to pay two euros for your cup of cappuccino. Another really important thing, guys, your sunscreen. Aspe sunscreen, sun protection cream, that's the way. You will be surprised, in Rome, even in January, the temperature is about 60, sometimes 20 degrees Celsius. And uh, I highly recommend you taking your sun protection. Sun can be aggressive here in Rome all year round. Out of the topic, guys, I was just um, passing by, this is the police car. So basically in Italy, the police uh, has the right to stop you on the street and ask for, ask to, for your identification, your document to confirm who you are. It can be your driver license, it can be a passport. And if you don't have your documents on you, with you, uh, they have this right to hold you until yeah, they find out who you are. So not to get into this situation, guys, make sure that you have any sort of your identity with you all the time, driving license, your passport. At least take a picture of your passport on your phone Sometimes it works, worked with me a few times, but sometimes they insist to have the original one, but at least having a picture of it will help you a lot. Guys, in Italy, you must have your identification with you all the time. This is the law and don't get yourself in trouble. When you walk around Rome, things to know, guys, Rome is a very loud city. You will hear constant honking. Yeah, people in Italy, in general, honking all the time. Also, you have all the sirens, police, ambulance, which is also super annoying. And another thing, scooters, motorbikes, and all these engines. Typical question number nine, if you need to buy drinking water. No, guys, you don't need to buy bottled water in Rome. In Rome, you will find more than 2,000 fontaines. They're called Nazoni. Just keep an empty bottle with you, and every time you feel thirsty, just re refill this bottle from that fontaine. This water is clean, drinkable, and also it's very cold, which I find particularly cool and uh, ref refreshed during hot summer months in Rome. Think number 10. Another question I'm getting asked all the time. If you need to pay any tips after having dinner or lunch. In Rome, in Italy, it's entirely up to you. Uh, it's a good thing to round up your bill. For example, if your bill is 35 euros, euro, you're paying 40 euro, for example. Or if your bill, uh, let's say, 23 euro uh, in the restaurant, if you just put in 25, right? So that's going to be more than enough. In Rome, you don't need to calculate this 30%, 20%, entirely up to you. Tip or not to tip, I'm leaving it for you to decide. Number 11, and specifically for my friends from America. Let's talk about your breakfast in Rome. Please guys, forget about the massive breakfast you usually have uh, in the US, in Britain, packed with all these sausages, scrambled eggs, omelets, bacon, and so far. Traditional Italian or breakfast, Roman breakfast will be cappuccino e cornetto per colazione. You can have this combination for your breakfast. And also portion, guys, portions, the size of them, especially for my American friends coming to Italy, coming to Rome. Guys, Please keep this in mind that the portions here in Italy will be much smaller from what you usually have in the US. But guys, when you see this smaller portion, um, don't, be, don't be tempted to order more. Honestly, the meals in Europe, they're so balanced. Just go usual way, appetizer, then you go primo, and then you go secondo, your main course. And after that, wait a little bit, and if you feel still hungry, go for dessert. Walking with me today, I guess I don't need to answer next popular question, and if you need to rent a car and drive yourself in Rome. No, guys, absolutely not. 
forget about driving in Rome and renting a car here. You can also take a taxi here. You can also um, use uh, public transport. Okay, the buses, they never on time, they're always late, but it's also an option. But guys, do not rent a car in Rome. Do not drive in Rome. Do not take a scooter in Rome. Do not take any sort of motorbike or all this <laughs> between your legs vehicles here in Rome bad idea i'm telling you just like no you don't want to do it forget about driving in rome yourself number 14 here you are not in new york you're not in america where you can jump on the side of the road to stop the car to get your taxi here in rome in italy in general you need to find the specific place where the taxis are it's a taxi place so you will see they parked alongside the road and this is the only place to take a taxi in Rome city center so uh, just don't waste your time uh, don't jump waving uh, on the side of the road most probably they will not stop just look for such a place they located all around Rome and uh, take your taxi it's gonna be available I'm thinking number number 15 as I said before guys my advice coming to rome bring your comfortable shoes and walk <laughs> make your um, key way of transportation around rome by walking first of all you will see a lot of gorgeous places second you will not waste your time staying in roman traffic and third it's a free way to exercise it will not do any bad to you so enjoy rome enjoy walking and by the way the locals do this all the time that's another thing how they stay skinny <laughs> they walk a lot guys europeans in general romans walk a lot passing by the pantheon guys let's talk about crowds in rome Honestly, they're here all year round. No matter if you're coming to Rome winter time or summer time, you should be ready to meet lots of people staying in the line. Crowds in Rome might be absolutely crazy. Waiting line might take you quite a few hours. So my point number next and get your tickets well in advance. Make sure that you are getting uh, those tickets to major attractions and you're getting that option with skip the line it will save you a lot of time and especially those tourists planning to come to Rome in August beginning of September when the temperature can rise up to 40 degrees Celsius believe me the last thing you want to do is to wait under the sun because it's open space next to Pantheon for two hours with this temperature guys honestly save your health invest your money in skip the line tickets and also it would be a good idea to take um, guided tours just a few of them my favorite one was um, Colosseo and um, Roman Forum you can buy this ticket together so you will um, visit both attractions and it will be in a group for this guided tour which you will enjoy so much because these guides in Rome, first of all, guys, don't forget that Italians, they the artists, they're actors inside. And usually when I have my guided tours here in Rome, it's like, it's like you're visiting the theater. They are all listed in my um, uh, Travel to Rome guide. So if you're interested in guided tours, which I highly recommend you to take when you're in Rome, please visit this one passing by countless places in Rome and our point number nine, 19 guys um, get ready that dinner in Rome in Italy in general is quite a late thing if you really want to try traditional Italian Roman food in a traditional trattoria or osteria or any type of um, traditional Italian restaurant and not a tourist trap Make sure that you're ready to have your dinner at about 8 p.m., 9 p.m. No traditional, authentic Italian, Roman, Osteria or Trasteria will be ever open for dinner before 7 p.m., guys. No way. Usually they open their doors at 7, people start gathering at about 7.30, you will get your dinner at 8. So, Traveling to Italy, traveling to Europe, just embrace this culture of having a late dinner. And if you want to try traditional Roman Italian food, 
make sure you will be ready to have your dinner at about 8 p.m., 9 p.m., not earlier than that. Last but far not least, guys, pickpockets. You can expect a number of pickpockets operating here, especially in high tourist season when, well, they're also working. And uh, unfortunately, it's a trend in bigger cities now. Use your common sense. First of all, when you have your backpack, make sure that all your zips are always fastened. Never leave your phone on the table unattended when you're sitting in the restaurant, you know, close to this pathway, so somebody can just pass by your table and grab your phone. Avoid doing this and also uh, invest in a crossbody bag. I'm having that one all the time. So basically, all your valuables like your wallet, your phone, your passport, or your driver license, if you have those documents with you, make sure that you're putting them in your crossbody bag. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much, guys, for being with me today, for walking around Rome. By the way, when you're coming to Rome, do you have your dates already? And for now, stay safe. Be happy. And as our tradition goes, I will see you next week. Have no idea which country from, but I can't wait to see you again. Love you so much, ragazzi. Ci vediamo a presto. Love you so much. Ciao, ragazzi. Ciao.